Today we are taking a look at the Jordan 4 Thunders set to release May 13th, but the real question is, should you buy them? First, let's take a dive into the sneakers themselves, and honestly, these are fire. The Jordan 4 Thunders are a retro of a retro that came out in 2006 when I was only three years old. You guys are old. The 2023 pair does take more of a comparison over the 06 pair, just because in 2012, they did release a new Jordan 4 look. But yeah, these take after that classic look. Now these do come with a nice clean black nubuck upper with hits of that yellow sprinkled around the entire shoe, around the eyelets, around the midsole, and around the netting liner. And on the back, they do have the jump man silhouette no nike symbol whatsoever back here and on the tongue we have the jump man plus that flight which is very very iconic that i know a lot of people will love about this sneaker but other than that there's nothing really too special about it and there doesn't really need to be the color speaks for itself as far as quality control comes they are around the same as any other gr jordan 4 they don't really meet the standard of that nike sb jordan 4 but that's probably because these are actually going to be mass produced a lot more than those and for you guys asking yes they are true to size now the Jordan 4 Thunders are set to retail for $210 USD and they will instantly sell out. There is no will they, won't they, they are going to be gone immediately. If you are trying to get your hands on a pair for retail, <laughs> good luck because it's going to be a war zone out there looking on the early sneaker market you can see prices ranging from about 400 to 450 and believe it or not that's actually pretty accurate to what they're probably going to be at now obviously every sneaker does go through a price drop closer and closer to release date but i do see these still staying at around 400 dollars for bigger sizes and around 350 for smaller sizes now i do want to know what you guys think will be the resale value so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think and i honestly wouldn't be surprised if bigger sizes do stay around that 450 mark at least on stock x and goat but regardless of what you think the profit margins alone are going to encourage botters resellers and backdoor to go after these so if you want them for real your best option is probably going through a third-party site like StockX, go or maybe ebay any other option just seems to be almost impossible now the real question is should you buy them in my opinion if you really really rock with the jordan 4 thunder silhouette and you just need to have them you might as well just go ahead and spend that money i don't like to encourage people to spend money that they don't want to but this is one of those jordan 4 sneakers that probably isn't going to restock a lot and it's probably going to be like one of those sneakers that you don't really see a lot of in the coming months now if you don't have the bread on you to pay that resale price at your like sneaker boutique or something then i would recommend maybe selling a couple pairs of your sneaker collection to maybe you know help you pay off that sneaker i don't know now there is a way to get sneakers like the jordan 4 thunder for under resale price and if you are interested i recommend clicking this video right here where i go over how to do that but with that being said i will catch you guys in the next one peace